Our big story at five o'clock. A local Air Force base is looking for the best way to eliminate drone threats. Drone technology is evolving each day, and so is the threat to our national security. WKRG News 5's Hannah O'Gara tells us what the U.S. military is doing to protect bases here on the Gulf Coast. A military experiment known as Falcon Peak 25.2 went underway at Eglin Air Force Base. Thursday morning's experiment is in part of the U.S. Northern Command wanting to find new ways to defend against unmarked enemy drones, more formally known as unmanned aircraft systems. In December of 2024, U.S. Northcom was put in charge to ensure the Department of War is moving as a unit to eliminate these drones, including the testing and development of new tools through the Falcon Peak 25.2. The significance of what we do is by having the special forces fly our red air for us is that they're bringing drones that a lot of these systems have never seen before. So we're able to validate that the systems are actually capable of performing as advertised. U.S. Northcom operations planner Jason Mays says drone use has risen drastically in recent years, with last year's experiment more focused around what a drone is and how to identify it. It just made sense moving into this year that as these things start to proliferate in the airspace, that we define the ability to actually close that, you know, engagement path, if you will. We got to have capabilities to be able to protect our, our pilots, our air crews. In 2024, U.S. Northcom reported over 350 unauthorized drone flights across 100 military bases. Brigadier General Mark Massaro says the biggest threats drones serve to militaristic operations include flying into aircrafts and gaining sensitive information. To be able to utilize those resources to get after advancing this technology is very important, not only for me as an installation commander, but for the rest of our national security. In Okaloosa County, Hannah O'Gara, WKRG News 5.